What is up, YouTube? Today, Mr. Magman's coming at you guys with a really neat car trick called the Visitor. Today, I'm going to be using my pink uh, bicycle deck, and um, I'm going to show you how this trick looks, and I'm going to teach you how it's done. All right. So for this trick, we're going to need four aces. We have the pink aces, and we have the black aces. Um, I'm going to go ahead and give the deck a quick riffle shuffle, just so you know that the cards are completely shuffled. And I also want to go ahead and show you that all of these cards are actually different. There's no duplicates, and there's nothing strange going on here. Just completely normal card deck. And we're going to go ahead and do one more riffle shuffle, just... Okay. And, um, if you were here, I would ask you to pick a card, so, um... Pick any random card. Say you chose that one right there. I'm going to show you guys, but I don't want to see it. That is your card. And um, I'm going to go ahead and ask you pink or black. Let's say you chose pink. So I have the two pink aces here, and we're actually going to... Uh, we're going to take your card and sandwich, uh, sandwich your card in between the two pink aces on a normal deck of be red but uh so we're gonna sandwich in between the two pink aces and sit that back on top of the deck well actually we're gonna put your cards right here um your card sandwiched in between the two pink cards right there and then we're gonna take about mm, about that much of the deck and sit it right here just so i can um get your cards lost in here And now that that card is lost in there, I'm going to go ahead and use this to find your card. So what we're going to do is, um, the cards that you did not pick, these are going to be my cards. And it's actually going to help me find your card. Because all I have to do is turn them over and give it a quick snap. Maybe a little wiggle and something happens, something changes. Your card is actually in between my two black aces the queen of spades but what's really crazy is when I flip it back over if you watch closely once again your card is gone your card actually was never right there because if you take a look in here if you spread these cards out in between the two pink aces right here your card never left. It's been there the entire time. The Queen of Spades. Alright guys, that's the card trick called The Visitor. If you liked it, don't forget to stick around for Alright guys, this is the tutorial for The Visitor. Um, but before we get into that, I'm just going to ask you to do a small favor for me and leave a like, comment, or subscribe. Um, so, let's go ahead and get into the trick. This is a completely impromptu card trick, which means you can use a borrowed deck or your own and you require no setup at all and all you need is the aces out of whatever deck you're using so once you get the cards shuffled and you have the aces out um, you just ask them to pick any random card let's say they picked uh, this one right here so you're gonna sit their card right here and uh, while they're looking at their card um, you're just gonna get a pinky pull down all you're gonna do is push the top card off with your thumb and pull it back and your pinky will be under it um, so that's really simple really easy you just push and pull and your pinky will go right under and once you have that and once they see their card in this case the ten of hearts um, all you have to do is ask them uh, which pile of aces do they want what color do they want the red or do they want the black in this case the pink or the black so let's say they picked black um, you would put the two black cards on top of your pinky break, and um, all you're going to do is pull it off and biddle grip, I believe is what it's called, and you'll have a random card right here that you do not want to flash. You don't want them to see that. So you're going to pull that pinky break off, and while you're holding it here, you're going to pull the top card off and set it underneath. So you'll have the first ace, 
a random card and then the second ace. So it'll look like that. It'll just look like the two aces as long as you don't flash that. And you're going to take their card, the ten of hearts, and put it underneath the two top cards. So right here it looks like their card is sandwiched in between the two aces. But in all actuality their card is sandwiched in between an ace, a random card, and the other ace. So once you do that, you tell them you're going to sit their cards right here. But you're going to sit the the four cards that you just had back on here. And uh, you're just going to riffle up to two cards, which will be uh, one of the aces and a random card. And you're going to take that and sit it right here. Now they think that, that their card is underneath the ace right here, followed by another ace, when really it is the ace and a random card. So once that's sitting there, you riffle to about mm, right here and just sit that down because their card is right here and you just you don't want them to know that you want them to think that their cards right there so you sit this here and um you tell them that you're going to get their card lost in this part of the deck so you do a double undercut which is basically you get a thumb break right here take half the cards from underneath put those on top and half of the other cards or actually all of the other cards and put those on top so now you've controlled their card to the bottom so as long as they think their card is over here and it's actually controlled to the bottom uh, you will be set for the trick so you're gonna sit this back down they think their cards in here and you're just gonna leave that alone and then you're gonna pick this deck back up which has their card and the other ace and what you're gonna do is riffle up and get a break under the top two cards and you're gonna say okay so now the two cards that you did not pick are gonna help me find your card so you put these on top and square them up so now you have the two aces their card and the final uh, ace on the bottom and you set this on top of the uh, on top of your pinky you have this whole little stack of cards right here you tell them that you're gonna flip the two pink aces over and their card appears in between them when really it is between one of the pink aces and one of the black aces but you don't want to show that black ace you just say your card has appeared in between my two cards and you can flush these up so that they can't see the black card and just briefly show them just say your card is in between my two pink cards my two pink aces right here and then while you're showing them, you're going to go ahead and get another pinky pull down uh, underneath this ace of hearts right here. So you're going to get a pinky pull down on that and sit this back on top. And then you say, when I flip the deck, when I flip the two aces back over, your card disappears from in between. And you're going to just hold it in middle grip and just peel the top card off. Uh, and the reason that you should do it like this is because if you just push the cards off, you have a chance of flashing the black card right here, which you don't want to do. So it's just a lot safer if you just peel it off like that and tell them that it's actually disappeared. And then you're going to go ahead and tell them that you don't think their card was actually ever between the two um, aces, the ace of heart and the ace of diamonds. And you're going to take this right here, which has the card, the other black ace control to the bottom, their card, and then the other black ace. Um, you say, I don't think your card was actually ever there, because if we spread through these cards, and you're just going to put that on top, you say, if we spread through these cards, and we look, right there, in between the two black aces, your card has been there the entire time time and now once you do this they usually think that you had a duplicate card or you did something uh really really weird but in all actuality it's a completely normal deck and you just use a little bit of sleight of hand all right guys i hope you like that trick and uh don't forget to check back for more